Hey everyone, welcome back to Gen AI Vlog. In this session, we're going to be talking about how to fine tune Palagemma using Hugging Face VQA V2 dataset. So we're going to do a two parts. The first part of this session is going to be fine tuning the model, whereas the second part, part two, is going to be making the inference. So first things first, let's turn attention to the code. You want to install transformers, datasets, as well as Accelerate. Those are the libraries you want to install. And then you use the notebook logging to log in your hugging face so that later on we can push the model to hugging face. Next thing you want to do is you want to load the data, right? So the data set that we're going to use is VQA version 2. And this is actually just a data straightforward from hugging face. Let me show you guys the source. So you go to the model card and you can kind of see okay this is the source of the data that's your url and then you have number of questions number of images things like that so we can go to visual question answer website and that's the website that provides the actual data and if this is the first time you're getting into multimodal model what it's doing is a data set kind of like this you have a couple of pictures and the pictures have labels and then you have a question. So for example, as these figures show from uh, this paper from CVPR 2017, we have a picture of man and woman, and maybe one of them is wearing glasses. And the question goes, who is wearing glasses? The picture on the left, the answer is man. The picture on the right, the answer is a woman. So that's what we call a VQA data, vision question answer. So in other words, this is multimodal, meaning that the input have pictures, and a question, right? It's a sentence. And then the output might be an answer man or output might be the answer woman. And same, and same goes with this case on the right-hand side. Where is the child sitting? This picture, the answer is fridge, whereas the picture on the right, the answer is arms. And then you can also do some basic math, right? For example, this one down here, how many children are in the bed? Well, uh, picture on the left, there are two kids, right? Picture on the right, there's only one. Uh, so this is the kind of data that you needed. Uh, to train a multimodal model. So now with that being said, that's what the data look like. Let's get back to our code. So we load all these data onto this object DS, and this actually took a while to wait. Uh, here it says 46 minutes, and this is because some of these files are actually very large. For example, this one I'm highlighting right now, it's 13.5 gigabytes. And then there's another one here that's 6.65 gigabytes, and another one here that's 13.3 gigabytes. Uh, so these are quite large files that you want to run. And then this obviously take a little bit to wait. Now, once that's being done, do a little processing, uh, clean up this DS object, right? Uh, split the training and testing. And if you take a look at the content of the training DS, uh, it's actually a data set, a dictionary format uh, with features and number of rows. Uh, so in this case, you only have a bit over 2000 samples. And then you have a multiple choice answer, a question, and the image. Uh, so the goal is, hey, it's a multimodal, right? Meaning that you are sending into the machine two things, question and image, and then it gives you some sort of answer back. Uh, so that is the setup of what the data look like for us to fine tune the Palagemma model. And since we're talking about fine tune, we're not training this model from scratch. Uh, first things first is you want to load up a pre-trained model, right? So this code here will help you load up a Palagemma model that's 3 billion, and that is from Google. Uh, so with that being said, that's your pre-trained model. Once that's loaded, uh, tokenize it. That's the function here for tokenizer. And then you set up your parameters. And then down here, you can use train arguments from transformers library to set up the configuration. And once you set up the configuration, I'm not going too crazy, right? I'm here having 10 epoch. That means the algorithm will run 10 iterations. And then it will save the weights. Also, with that being said, that's the configuration. Throw that in the trainer library. And then you got it. You can start training. And so this is the performance that I'm looking at. Uh, as this iteration is increasing, 100, 200, 300, you can see that the training loss is also decreasing from originally 0.34 uh, to 0 0.21 uh, in just one epoch. Uh, and then in 10 epoch, we're down to 0 0.0004. Uh, I will probably call that a very small error. So with 10 epoch waiting for 26 minutes, uh, you'll be able to achieve a performance that I will say it's not that bad. 
on that VQA version two data set. So now the model is trained. Uh, you identify the loss is not that bad. You're ready to push this to the cloud. So we use push to hub code to push this model and model weights to the Hugging Face Hub cloud. And this is gonna give you a URL and then you can click on it. This will take you to the model car. Let's go to the model car and boom, there you go. Now you can of course edit this. Uh, for me, I didn't wanna go too crazy. So I just uh, took some of these from Google's Palgemma model. Next part, we're gonna talk about how to make an inference using this model car. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.